Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In this video, we'll take a look at the audit log improvements added with the release of Zabbix 6.0 LTS. Let's start by checking if audit logging is enabled. Navigate to Administration, General, Audit Log, and enable audit logging. Here you can also enable or disable the housekeeping of audit log entries and the period for how long the audit log entries will be stored. Once you have configured the required settings, press the update button to save the changes. Let's start with simple failed login audit log entries. Try and perform a few failed Zabbix front-end login attempts. Afterwards, navigate to Reports, Audit, and we can indeed see the entries related to failed login attempts, as well as entries updating the failed login count for the user account. For our next example, let's try and import a set of hosts from a YAML file and take a look at how it is reflected in the audit log. Navigate to the Configuration, Hosts section, Press the import button and import a YAML file containing some hosts or templates. After the import has been completed, navigate to Reports, Audit, and find the related entries. To make our job easier, we can also enter a record set ID in our filters. A record set ID contains entries performed by a single Zabbix frontend or server operation. In our case, the operation is the import of the hosts via a YAML file. As for our final example, let's look at some audit log entries produced by Zabbix server. Navigate to configuration, hosts, and select a host that has a low level discovery rule on it. Click on the discovery button to view the low level discovery rules. Mark the checkboxes next to the low-level discovery rules that you wish to execute and press the Execute Now button. Next, navigate back to Reports, Audit. Here we can see a list of entities such as items, triggers and graphs created on our host by the low-level discovery rule. Once again, we can use the record set ID to filter in the records related only to the execution of the low-level discovery rule. Now you should have some pointers on how to efficiently utilize the new audit log features and keep track of operations performed by Zabbix frontend and Zabbix server for better troubleshooting, efficiency, and general audit capabilities for your Zabbix tasks.